Hi guys, Robert Rivera here with the Rivera Trading Group in association with Trend Trading Academy. And this is one more installment of the Support and Resistance Series. This is number nine. Uh, and this is the NASDAQ. We have the high of the low on the top red line, low of the day, uh, and the lower red line. And then we have the consolidation of the five minute. This is the open right here. And I had noticed how price had gone down significantly near the uh, low of the day, and then it opened with this uh, impulse to the upside with no lower wick. This candle has no lower wick. In other words, there was not a single trader interested in taking this lower than this price point. And it started moving up. This is the um, five minute resistance where it rejected right there on the white line. So I'm waiting to see if it's gonna make a definitive move to the break to the upside. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and there it is. And as soon as I see it, I go in, however, I went in just, I mean, my entry was terrible. I mean, I wanted it closer to the white line. That is actually very significant. That's like four or five pips right there that I'm not going to be able to take advantage of because uh, of my entry. And this is the reality. Sometimes this happens and you just have to deal with it. And now I'm just watching this to make sure that this candle stays above that line. Now it keeps dipping down. It's playing around with that 50 moving average, which is that uh, orange line that you see right there. And it keeps dipping above it and below it, above it and below it. And uh, it's sustaining though, you know, and, and I understand it's difficult to know, okay, when when is a move from the NASDAQ going to become a flip and when is it going to continue going in, in the given direction? Um, this is the importance of watching your pair over and over, day by day, every day. To make sure you know how it moves um somewhat instinctively i knew based on price action and how i've seen this move before that this is just going up uh so i'm confident of holding my position i'm holding it to the next white line i have the feeling that it could go to the high of the day but there is resistance there at the next white line and i'm not even really looking to let it touch i just want to get as close as possible to it to then take my profit um, because I know that there's going to be a reaction at that line. So, um, and, and you wouldn't believe that these small gains are that significant, but when you get these small gains day after day, day after day, it doesn't take very long for your uh, account to grow. So here we're reaching 10, 11, 12, I think, uh, I think it hit uh, 16 or so, and that's when I took it. Um, it would have been something like 18 or 19, maybe even 20 when it hit the white line, but I was satisfied with take uh, my 16. Here it comes, she's pretty soon. There it is, about to take it, about to take it, take it, Robert, take it, there we go. <laughs> and that's it. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, enjoy your rest of the month. God bless you, bye-bye.